We're at the refit shed where we are refitting Fortinet Best Western boat. This is where it stays the whole winter. The boat entered refit at the end of December. We take off the keel, we remove the foils, and of course, the mast. We dismantle the whole boat to check it down to the smallest parts. There's a team of four people on the boat managed by Loic, the boat captain. He's responsible for the boat. We preferred to completely strip the boat down to nothing. There's several reasons. We remove all the old paint logos from the previous owners. It's a question of saving weight. As we're in performance racing, we try to reduce the weight as much as possible. This also allows us to see how it was built, because the boat has had two previous owners, so we have to look at what has been done previously. Then comes the technical team to inspect the mast, the hull, the fittings, different aspects that Roman didn't have time to check. So we will spend time to ensure that there isn't any damage on these parts that couldn't be inspected during the previous race. Roman was coming in every week or sometimes every two days to see the evolution. It's on me to manage the suppliers, the orders, the return of the material, and so on. So he gives me a free hand to carry on. I visit the boat shed regularly, but I give a lot of autonomy to the team because I have other things to do. I spend a lot of time on the road to meet all our partners. At last count, we have 48 sponsors. And of course, I have to work out regularly. I work out at the Port La Forêt training center where I do cross-training session with my coach, Ronan, twice a week. For me, training skippers is very different from training other athletes. All my work is based on an analysis of their activity. I accompany them on the boat in actual sailing conditions to better understand what they do, what are the high activity and recovery times. And from there, I plan the training year, the training season, so they can reach their competition goals. The sessions for Romain are adapted to his boat, the Imoca, and to the circuit he is on. Every year I evaluate him on different physical aspects. And from this evaluation we do an assessment together to define the areas of work for the coming year. The cross training is great because it develops core strength, and on this type of boat, this is what you need. The kind of workout that we get on these boats is very particular, which just isn't done in any other sport. As an example, you can be resting or sleeping and all of a sudden you've got to go all out. And there you go for an hour and a half of intense activity without warming up. Normally this is something you should never do. Therefore, building strength, we learn how to reduce injury. I will either run or cycle on the days when there isn't any cross-training scheduled. On these boats, you need mobility and balance. Whenever you go to the bow, you can't afford to be clumsy. The required agility and mobility when moving around when the boat is at full speed, I get it from running or cycling. And then on Thursday nights, we do kickboxing. I find boxing as a real bonus beyond being a cardio workout as well. When you need to confront a taller or stronger person, it might be a bit scary, but you need to do it anyway. I find this in my commitment with the boat. It's true that when we embark on a maneuver, sometimes we might think to ourselves that I'll never make it. So I train myself to push back, to condition, and commit myself to go forward. In terms of courage and perseverance, these are tough sports, whether racing on high seas or boxing. In these sports, we are constantly in search of self-transcendence, to go beyond what we think we can do. This is something we insist on, from the very first training sessions, even with our youngest boxers. And these are traits that he has acquired quite some time ago, and I think that this helps him perform better in this sport and in his daily life. 
On a mental level, he's like a machine, always doing his utmost, relentless from the start right up to the end of the session. Today's a big day, an important day. After four months of work with a major refit under our belts, we can take the boat out again. We are very eager because we spent a long time here and we're looking forward to getting out of the water. Finally, a very long refitting phase is coming to an end, which marks the beginning of a new phase, sailing, the part we like the most. It's the start of the sailing season and the racing season, so we're going to move on very quickly because we soon set sail for our great journey. London, Portsmouth, Lisbon, all during the month of May. We will be back in Salva de Lone at the end of May for the first solo race of the season, which, in my opinion, will be the hardest race of the year, the Vendi Arctique. 